This is Monica. May I help you? Oh, Monica, who did I reach? I, I was trying to order something and... Well, we answer calls for um, products on commercials. What's the name of the product you're calling about? Oh, I was calling about the dish set, hon. Okay, I'll need the actual name of the item, and I can see if it's one that we service. Oh, the uh, the Colonial Southern, uh, I believe it's the uh, dinner plate set, Colonial Southern, something like that. Colonial Southern... No, it doesn't. You said dental plates? No, dinner plates. Dinner plates? Yes, yeah, ma'am. it doesn't pull up any, um, yeah, dinner plates at all. Let me just, let me put in dinner plates and see what comes in. Uh, yeah, I do apologize. I don't have any, um, product under that name. Well, it could be, uh, dentist plates. I think they were autographed by, um, what is it, Stan Ketchum? Doesn't he draw the, uh, the Dennis the Menace comic book? Or comic strip, I'm sorry. Okay, what was the other name you wanted me to try? Dennis the Menace, uh, autographed plates by Stan, or whatever his name is. His last name is Ketchum. Yeah, that's not a product that we service. Sorry, thank you for calling. Well, it's on the commercial there, so why wouldn't you sell it? Um, this isn't the right number. Oh, I beg your pardon. That's yes, it is, ma'am. That we service. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, ma'am. Hello. Hi, this is Tony. May I help you? Yes, hello. I just spoke with someone named Monica there who was very rude and hung up on me. Now, do you have a Monica in your office? Uh, not in my office here. No, I'm sorry. Well, your people are very rude. I I'm very sorry for that experience. Um, how can I help you? Well, uh, as I told her, I I'm sorry. I I'm not trying to take it on you, hon. Uh, I was looking for the Dennis the Menace plate set and she just tells me oh you have the wrong number when I don't have the wrong number it's right here I double checked it okay well unfortunately we it's possible that that was the original phone number for that line but there may have been some rearranging um, and unfortunately that phone number no longer connects with that line. Um, we do not provide Dennis the Menace plateware, and I, I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, but it may have been the correct number at one time, but it, it doesn't seem to be connecting you to the right line at this time. Well, ma'am, did I just hear a, a smoke detector beep in your background? Uh, no, ma'am. Oh, I could have sworn I heard it. Hang on one second. I think we'll hear it. There it is. Ma'am, ma you need to change the battery in that in that smoke detector. You're just so used to it that you don't hear it? Maybe. I'll have to check it a bit later. I think you should because... I wouldn't want something bad to happen over there. I, I, I guess maybe you, you're you not in an office, you're in your home? I'll bring it up to maintenance. Yes, please do, because I, I worry about that kind of thing. A, a lot of people, they have their smoke detectors chirping, and they're just immune to it. And one day, ma'am, that's going to stop chirping, and if there's a fire, there's going to be nothing you can do about it. If you're asleep or, or whatever, if you're alone then you could burn to death, and that's tragic. That shouldn't be happening, ma'am. Just a, a simple double-A battery is all it takes. I I knew someone, it was my aunt's sister, who her grandson actually died in a fire because they didn't change the battery. So I don't want that to happen to anyone else, ma'am, please. 
Absolutely. I, I will definitely make sure maintenance knows about the, the, the smoke alarm and make sure they check it. I, I, I would think that they do regular maintenance on it, so I'm not sure how it was missed, but I'll definitely contact maintenance and, and have them look into it. Oh, good. Thank you, honey. And and really, uh, once a week, I really recommend just, you know, hold down that button and just make sure that thing beeps, because if it doesn't beep, then, my God, it could affect you. It could affect your family, obviously, with the loss. Uh, it could set the building on fire. It could... It could start a major forest fire. I mean, up in California, they had those terrible fires not long ago, remember? Mm-hmm. Okay, I just... Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to preach, but I just want everybody to be safe. Now, now you, you don't have the Dennis the Menace plates? No, I'm, I'm very sorry. All right, well, what do you have there? Um, well, this is the line for a law firm, um, so, so you've reached a law firm, and I, I don't, we don't provide those types of products. Well, wait a minute, I just dialed the same number again, and the last lady I talked to, she said, well, we don't have the Dennis the Menace plates, however, we do have, uh, multiple products. And now you're telling me it's a law office? Um, Ma'am? We, we, take, we take surveys on, be, on their behalf. Um, so that's the service that we provide for them. Um, unfortunately, we do not have Dennis Domenis plates, and I, I do apologize for that. Well, I'm not understanding this because the last lady who answered the phone said, My name is Monica. Can I help you? And I asked about plates, and she says, no, but we do have other products. So how how can I dial the same number twice? I hit redial, and now it's a law office. Um, well, as I said, we're different offices, so it's possible she you bounce to a representative who provides different products than myself. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, all that I know is that my record shows that this is for a law office, and I'm um, this line is to assist them in serving customers who may be in need. Very strange. May I place you on a brief hold, ma'am? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> 